everyone, it's Naomi Shops here and I am here to do my weekly weigh in. Okay, so we are like 50 days in right now on the Duke and Diet and it's going good. It did definitely stall this last week. I only ended up losing like a half a pound, which is still a loss. But I noticed when I went on like the Duke and Diet website, their like official site that you have to pay $29.99 to join, um, they were saying between one and two pounds. And they said though that if you're like premenopausal or you're menopausal, that you're more likely to lose a half a pound. So I don't know. It was just because, like I said, I always lose weight at a snail's pace. My body doesn't react the same as everyone else's. I think I've just really ruined my metabolism with all these crazy diets that I've done since, you know, I was in my 20s, my early 20s, including, you know, taking uh, phenamine and taking all those terrible things in my 20s, which I think just destroyed my metabolism in the long run. And I wish like somebody would tell you, although you know what, when you're young, you think you're fearless, you know, you're fearless, you think you're immortal, nothing's going to happen to you, it doesn't pertain to you, and you don't care what happens when you get older. So, um, I don't know. I, I have a feeling though that that's one of the reasons why I'm slow. Although I've been still averaging a pound a week, but they said one to two. And I've been staying on course. I haven't, you know, went off course at all. I've been staying completely on the diet. Um, one thing that it did say, though, is that if for some reason you stop losing weight or you're not losing the way that you feel you want to, to cut milk products out of your diet. So uh, if I don't see some changes where I go back to a pound a week, um, then, then maybe what I will do is I will go ahead and cut dairy out of my diet for like a week or so and see if that makes a difference or not. I have definitely upped my veggie intake on veggie days and so that may be playing a factor. I know that it says that you can have as much as you want but when I read the book it did say you know within reason so I don't know what are they considering within reason. Maybe I am personally going way over that amount. I don't know. So um, maybe I need to dial it back some. I figure I'll I'll mess with the, the milk products and see if that makes a difference. And if that makes a difference, then, you know, maybe I'll go one week on milk, one week without milk products. But um, I enjoy my coffee. So that's going to be a little hard if I have to give up milk completely. But I don't want to be on this for 10,000 years, so I'm going to do what it takes so I can hurry up and get through this so I can get on to the next phase, which is a lot better than the phase that I'm in right now. So, uh, but, but I'm really happy that I've stayed course because we've been doing a lot of holiday stuff and we've been going to see Christmas lights and stuff and so we're on the go a lot more, which makes it really hard because I have to make sure that I eat my food before we leave so that I'm not, you know, wanting to snack on little vendors and stuff that are in these areas or, you know, more susceptible to eating this junk because, you know, it looks appealing. So you know, that that's harder. And so the fact that I've stayed course is pretty amazing. So we've got Christmas coming up. What are we at now? 13 days? I don't even know. It's coming so quickly. And, um, and I'm ready. I'm ready. I've got pretty much everything I need to get done. So I'm happy about that. But, um, maybe I, maybe I should be shopping more so that when my butt will get walking. That is the one thing that I have not been doing as much to is I haven't been walking my 30 minutes every day like I'm supposed to. And it's because I'm trying to get things done for Christmas and before family comes and things like that. So, um, it's been a little less working, you know, working out or walking, I should say, not working out, but um, I definitely have cut there too. So that obviously could be, see, when you start talking things out, you start going, okay, I see things that I'm doing wrong. So that's one thing that I need to improve on is I do need to make sure that I'm getting that 30 minutes in every single day because I do sit a lot when I'm working, I'm sitting, you know, when I'm 
wrapping presents, I'm sitting, I'm not standing and doing all these things. So that's a lot of, you know, not moving and burning calories. So maybe I need to up it even a little more than 30 minutes to get a, like a jump start on that. So, okay, I'm gonna do that too. Note to self, watch this video and remind yourself if you forget, when you go back to this, when you get a stall moment, go back to this and listen to what you had to say. And I'm, I'm also still keeping my diary. I've, I've started only doing it like once ever so often, mostly when I go weigh myself. Then I'll write in my like diary about how I'm feeling and how things are going because I do want to remember all this because I'm hoping, you know, no matter what, I get through this all. But if I don't, if something happens, you know, we're only human, I want to be able to go back and say, okay, it was working. You were doing great. You've lost, you know, I'm at 16 pounds lost at 50 days. That's, that's great. I wish that it was more. But that's still really awesome and I'm I'm happy about that. I'm not upset at that because like I said, normally I'm putting on 5, 10, 15 pounds during the Christmas and holiday season because you've got cookies and everything and our patients are so wonderful. They're always bringing in all these desserts and stuff because they're so sweet and they're you know older people and they love to make things because they want to say thank you and it's so wonderful but it's terrible to have it in this house. So I've made sure to tell my husband, do not bring that stuff home. Just leave it at the office and uh, give it either to the employees or, you know, eat it yourself or, you know, take it with you when you go to the movies with our son. So you guys can snack on it there or something like that, but don't bring it home because I'm gonna wanna eat it. I, I don't have self-control. I, I guess I do to a point, but who doesn't love some homemade desserts, cakes, cookies, all that yummy goodness during the holiday season. So um, I did find someone that, I finally found a company that did the the sugar-free candy canes because that's one thing that I've been craving this whole time. And I did find a, a website, Diabetic Friendly. They weren't, they're not doing it on their website, but they happen to have some like back stock <laughs> from when they stopped making it, I guess like in January. So they're gonna be probably a little stale, but I think candy lasts a lot longer than regular food. Um, so they, I found some on Amazon, so I bought them. I don't know how long, it says they'll come like in a couple weeks. They're not very quick on their shipping, but I've been wanting it so much, so I couldn't find it. If you guys know of someone that does sugar-free candy canes, please let me know because Bob's used to do sugar-free candy canes and they're not doing it anymore. They discontinued. So I would love to know if you find a brand in their website, post it below because um, so far it was this one and they are completely overpriced because they hand make them. And so $15.99 for nine three inch candy canes. Yeah, $15.99, what are they, like 99 cents at the store? Like highway robbery, and then I think it was like $6 shipping. So I only got one box, because <laughs> I don't need any more than that anyway. You know, you, it's more of like a one every other day if you want something sweet or something like that, you know, but they're sugar-free. So that's why I'm excited about it. Um, other than that, not much, just staying coarse and you know, trying to do my best, and there were definitely, the biggest thing lately is I've been really wanting carbs, like bread, and I need to figure out a way to, like, get past that, because that's one thing that I really can't figure out how to make on Dukin. I do get, you know, my muffin, which helps. Um, I, I, the problem is, is when I hold off and I save it to the night, I get more hungry. So it's better for me to have it in the morning so that I'm not getting as hungry. Not, you know, I can eat whenever I'm hungry, but it's more like I get, um, more intensely hungry in the evening and then I'm like lazy and I don't want to make food. So that could possibly set me up for problems in the future if I'm not careful. So I just... So I've been trying to just do it in the morning, but I don't know. I don't know the right thing as far as that, because when I want bread, I want bread so much. I want pizza. I want French bread. I love bread. That's my biggest culprit out of all of this. That is what has made me fat is bread. I love bread. So 
Anyway, that's what's going on. Um, I will say that I'm going to move to probably one month for my next way, weekly weigh-in simply because the holidays and stuff it's going to get a little hectic around here and I don't want to promise a video and like I said I was going to do it for the first month and I've almost gone two months so um, I think that I'll probably take a break until after January and then I'll come back and do another um, weekly weigh-in just because through the holidays it'll be kind of hard to um, possibly film with family and friends and stuff that'll be stopping by and stuff during the holiday season. It just makes it a little harder and I'm hoping to do like a little get together for my son and his friends and things like that. So it just gets a little crazy around here. So I don't want to make a promise to you guys. If you are looking to these videos that I will be here. I will be here after the holidays with a new video for weekly weigh-in. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing great and until next time, bye guys.